Hey everyone, GW Small with the Shaving Disciple, and I've got a nice little post 4th of July mail call for you guys today. So, as is the tradition, I've uh, got a beverage to go with my mail call here. Ah, so it's a Brooklyn non alcoholic IPA. Um, it's not bad, it's got a bit of a metallic taste to it. Um, they actually make another non-alcoholic that I vastly prefer to this one, uh, but this one's not bad. Okay, so what do we got today? Um, unboxing knife. It's just my old antique fishing knife. Um, I've already opened up the boxes to try and save a little bit of time. Uh, so my first package, first package, comes from Hawaii. So I got a little package from Silky Creamy. If you guys don't know who Silky Creamy is, he's a fellow YouTuber. Um, he's got some really cool videos. He's really laid back, uh, very very positive attitude. Um, really really enjoy watching his videos, and he's he's got some unique takes, um, kind of unique ways he does videos. Um, so I highly recommend you checking him out. So from Silky Creamy, I got Old Kentucky. WSP Formula T Old Kentucky. So he ended up with a duplicate of this and he knew that I had been meaning to pick it up for a while now and just hadn't gotten around to it and he offered to send me this. So thank you very much, Silky. I really appreciate it. Oh, really, really love that scent. It's got kind of that touch of bourbony smell to it. Mm, it's really, really nice. Looking forward to using that soon. So the next box comes to me from Canada. I am currently up on the Turn and Shave uh, custom brush list. And so I need a knot to go with my handle that I'm having made. Uh, I think I've also got another couple of brushes on the way that are gonna need some knots. So I picked up some knots from AP Shave Coat. First, I've got Got some of these brown knots, synthetics. Uh, one's a fan, one's a bulb, um, both 24 millimeter. So those be they feel really nice. Um, I don't have any brown knots in my collection back there yet. So one of these is going into the brush that Milton's making for me right now. These were all knots that I don't have specific brushes that I know they're going to go into yet, but these are all knots that I've wanted to try for a while now. Um, so one is a 26 millimeter cashmere fan. Really, really soft, these cashmere knots. This is the two bed knot. This is a 24 millimeter. So this is a knot I hadn't had a chance to try yet and was curious about. So looking forward to putting that in a brush. And then the other two that I got are Sinbad knots. One is a 24 millimeter Sinbad fan, and the other is a 24 millimeter Sinbad bulb. So six new knots. Like I said, one of those browns is going in my turn and shave knot, uh, brush that's coming, and the others will be destined for future brushes. The next one is from Maggard. So Maggard just redid their website. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, um, I highly recommend you check it out. And to kind of celebrate their new website, they were offering 10% uh, off your entire order. So I jumped on that and picked up a few things that had been on my list. So got some samples. So a couple of these uh, actually, these are all things that I've been interested in. So, one is Mirsol uh, Agua Balsamica, which I have heard pairs pretty nicely with um, Martin de Candre's Fougere. Hmm, which I could definitely see smelling that. It, it's a nice Fougere kind of fern scent. Um, so, look forward to trying that out with my Martin de Candre. 
This is one I've been interested in a while. This is Bear Stern Man's Diamond. Um, I played baseball for 10 years, so I um, really, really, really am curious to figure out if this smells like a baseball field. Hmm. So it's definitely got the grass, kind of a bit of dirt. I'm not really getting kind of the beer and the and the peanuts, I think, is the other scent note I remember. Um, I bet this one opens up a little bit more once it's lathered, though. And then I decided to start with some Aventus clones. So I've been thinking about trying to buy some more Aventus dupes and do a comprehensive Aventus shaving soap review. So I picked up Annie Spartacus. Mm, which smells really nice. And I picked up Declaration Grooming's Sellout. Which again, very nice, but out of the tubs, if I had to pick between the two, I think Spartacus would win. But I'll lather both of these up because they will change a little bit as they get lathered. So the next item is... Murphy and McNeil, Cran Bethad, Splash. I already have the soap, and so this is one of the items where I was just kind of filling out the collection by picking up some of the picking up some of the splashes to go with soaps. Hmm. Smells very, very nice. Green Irish tweed scent. And then this was kind of my my inspiration for using that 10% off for maggards. I'm gonna have head and picked up a pearl flexi. So I'm not gonna open this up fully right now just because uh, I'll probably do that as a part of my review video, kind of show everybody the packaging and how it comes and um, I'll have to inspect it to make sure it doesn't have any of the alignment issues. Um, so I wanna do that off camera, but picked up the pearl flexi. I'm really, really curious to find out how this shaves. Um, I already have the ambassador and the heritage adjustable, so I figured it made sense to throw this into the comparison wheel too. So that is all for my unboxing today. Got lots of cool new stuff in the den to check out. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.